Hello everyone. Welcome back to the part 5 of the Arduino Core Software Development Series. This video is about the programming and data logging from the sensor barometer that is the BMP280. The program running on my uh, on my Arduino board, the Nano board is uh, from the SparkFun library. There is a SparkFun BME 280. This is the library which I'm using. So this is a uh, this library is uh, available uh, from GitHub, the GitHub source. You can search for this. There are many examples within this. Right now I'm using the basic readings, which gives me the uh, the pressure, the temperature, and the altitude. So there are also other libraries like the Adafruit library for BMP280. Uh, I have tried that, but uh, so I found this more uh, more accurate and more easy because it has the options of uh, reading out data in feet, the high data in feet, which is actually quite reasonable. So the program is not very big. It's a small small code, a small code because the library is already provided the spark one library so in this code i am connecting to the wire library using the wire begin and uh, my sensor is the object here so we, we have taken bme 280 as my sensor and this also refers to the address of the BMP280 sensor. Now, one very important thing I would like to mention is that the libraries, the default libraries that come, they have the address set to 77, 0x, the hexadecimal number of x77. But, but the ones which I'm using or the clones of this BMP280, they are all uh, coming with a default address of 76, x76, hexadecimal 76. So you need to change that. So for that, it is important you need to go to the library. You can go to this folder SRC. You have to edit the .c file. So setting .i2c address is equal to 0x77. This is a default value. So this needs to be changed to 76. So once you change your 76, the default code will work on your controller. So this is a very important step. Uh, all the libraries come with 77. In fact, the other fruit library also comes with the address of 77. You need to change it to 76. So I have some variables defined here, zero altitude. This zero altitude, I'm using it to set the baseline order reference for the measurement of height so whenever I at whatever height I will start my tone or I will start my controller I power up my controller it will consider that it will take a reading of that current value of the altitude and then subtract that from all the readings just this is just to make the baseline at zero so I'm only using a relative measurement so there are some check I do see communication does not find the relevant sensor it will throw out this error And then use a delay. I found this delay to be important. If you don't give this delay, there are some random readings sent by the sensor. So here I am taking an average of 100 readings, 100 readings, and then uh, taking the average of the 100 readings, and then I'm assigning that initial reading of the average reading to the variable zero altitude, zero altitude. So this zero altitude, I am later on subtracting from the measurements. So all the variable stores the values, the current values from the sensor. So the current values from the sensor is called using the function my sensor dot read load altitude feet. And I'm doing an averaging here. A complementary filter you can call that so I'm using an averaging here the 
here I'm calling the function altitude feet. We also have the option of calling in the meters. So that will report values in meters. So feet is more convenient to use for lower altitudes. So this is all about the program actually. So now I will show you the, the readings. So let's power up the sensor or the Arduino board. So we will call the serial monitor. So this is a serial monitor. Uh, you can see the data from the sensor. Uh, we are receiving data which is in the range of 0 to minus 1 feet. My sensor is placed exactly on the floor. That is my reference or the zero height. Now I'll try and lift the sensor by some 3 to 4 feet because that is the resolution of this sensor as per the manufacturer's data sheet. So I'm lifting it right now by some 3 feet. So the data is uh, it did respond to the height increase but it did not go to 3 feet. I will increase it further by 3 more feet. So you can see that it responded. Okay, now I will take it back to the zero reference. That is the floor. Okay, it did not come down to zero. So you can see now this is the problem here with the PMP20. The readings are not very accurate, and there is a large amount of drift that happens. So. I have researched on several forums. It is uh, the parameter can only be used uh, when it is complemented by a separate sensor, like uh, say the GPS GPS sensor, which also reports height height data, altitude data, the resolution of plus minus uh, three to four meters. But using the parameter in itself is not sufficient to get to give us exact altitude data. Okay, we'll try this again. I'll increase it by some four to five feet. I have increased it by around 5 feet and we are getting the data. I will take it back to zero. So this is data. I will just do the same thing uh, with a higher frequency. Let me do this quickly so that I can see the response of the sensor. I have, I have also averaged the, the data a lot. I will just do this quickly. So I am oscillating the data or sensor between 0 to 5 feet. It is responsive. It is responsive but you can see it is drifting. Okay friends, thank you for watching the video. I have some uh, problems which I need to take care of before implementing the barometer on my drone. Uh, like I said, I will be replacing this uh, Arduino here with this board. This board will take care of both the ultrasonic sensor as well as the barometer. And additionally, my plan is to also use this secondary Arduino to acquire data from the GPS sensor, for which I may use a, a, a new six new six GPS sensor, which communicates over UART, UART or the serial interface. So this sensor can do that, and it will relay all the information to the flight controller. So that is my future prospects of getting this drone equipped with more sensors okay so thanks for watching have a nice day and do like and share my video thank you guys